Hello everyone. In this presentation, we will learn rules and its significance, various types of rules. In HFM, rules are used to facilitate custom calculations, custom translations and custom consolidations. Here is the list of common rule types in HFM. Calculate, Translate, Consolidate, No Input and Dynamic. Less frequently used rule types are Allocate, Input. Now we will see Calculate Subroutine. If you have any custom calculations, for example, Commission Calculation and Cumulative Retained Earnings Calculation, we can use this subroutine. Each subroutine should start with sub and it will end with end sub, sub calculate and end sub. So some dimensions cannot be used on the left hand side of the equation. Those are scenario, entity, value, year and period. Whereas account, all custom dimensions and ICP dimension can be used on left hand side of the equation. And remember on the left hand side of the equation all base members have to be used. And there is a naming convention for each dimension. It generally starts with dimensions first letter account dimension as A and each should be followed by hash symbol account A hash entity E hash custom dimension 1 C1 hash C2 hash etc period dimension P hash year as Y hash whereas view dimension has an exception it is W hash because there is another dimension value which is also starting with V. You can write the calculation rule using notepad. Let us open a notepad. In this calculation subroutine, an expression must be given as hs.exp and it has to be followed by quotes. And within the quotes, we are going to write the expression. So, equal to, on the left hand side, I am going to mention a hash and account number. So, I am going to calculate retained earnings. Retained earnings is a balance sheet account member. And retained earnings is nothing but current months, profit and loss or we can also call current month's net income. So we have to obviously get net income and put it into retained earnings. So on the right hand side account will be profit and loss. So we have mentioned account dimension. Now it is important to mention all other dimensions on the left hand side otherwise this rule is inefficient it takes time and we have to bring YTD because balance sheet accounts are always YTD we have set it up like that so the profit and loss is a flow account so I have to mention W hash W is a view dimension and we know YTD and from custom dimensions, I have to mention C1 hash all cost centers, which is the top members. You can refer metadata manager and see what are all the top members. So it is efficient to get custom dimension members on the from the top member. Unless you know it is some different member, usually profit and loss will be calculated at the top member. Why? Because there are several expenses by several cost centers. So the final profit will be available only at all cost centers level. ICP dimension also should be top dimension. So I have to mention I hash ICP top. If you notice here, I am keeping ICP top with a left square bracket and right hand side square bracket. So this is a system defined member 
and we need to always mention system defined members as this square brackets and the right hand side I have mentioned all the dimensions on the left hand side it should be always base members if you refer the presentation just seen now we can only mention account dimension intercompany dimension and all custom dimensions on the left hand side so let us write usually the balance sheet uh, cost center will be 000 or you can check in your hierarchy what is the balance sheet cost center and um, dot c2 hash tb so this calculate subroutine will work for the year period and the entity for which you are running the calculation if you are running this consolidation at parent level then this calculation subroutine will be executed for all the child members under that parent member you can restrict this equation to run for few scenarios and uh, by using if statement and this is case sensitive when you are checking with the member it should be the exact member name and to get a better performance for calculate subroutines you can check value dimension member hs dot value dot member equal to value dimension members always start with a less than symbol and end with a greater than symbol you have to use that member so the entity currency if hs dot value dot member equal to entity currency then then only run this expression for each if there should be end if and if you want you can indent this for a better readability you can save this file with the dot r l e extension rule extension and open later with a notepad let's log into hfm application and uh, go to load application elements where we have loaded metadata now load rules file the rule file we have used click that rules file and click ok check the log file so the number of errors 0 number of warnings 0 we can run this rules file from any grid or from process control let's open a grid so the current year retained earnings let's calculate for one of the entities right click on any cell and say force calculate so we ran the calculation but still we are not seeing the value for this entity the reason is so there is a value member the member name is entity currency if you see this it is e caps and c caps whereas in our script it is c is a small letter so let's change this load the rule again check the log file and go to the balance sheet grid again and run force calculate so now you see a value so this is nothing but net profit and loss for this particular entity so that is getting calculated for the current year retained earnings if i click on a parent level calculate so there is no calculate option at parent level so it should be consolidate so when we run the consolidate also it will calculate all the subroutines the current year earnings is calculated for all entities before writing the expression we can clear any data in this particular combination sometimes it is required to clear the data this is how we write calculation scripts in hfm we'll see you in next sessions